Hello everyone, it's me Speedy Gear here for another episode of Foundation. Uh, just last episode, you guys probably uh, remember our dilemma that no one can reach our village so that they can we can expand our community. But now, you probably just look at that, people were just walking up now and now we are at 10 people because we were able to finish the bridge. It, did, it didn't take that long, probably like 5-10 minutes. So that wasn't too bad. And now we can carry on on the game. So a message from the kingdom. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant. Lord Manor House and Rustic Church are now available. New zone residential. There you go. So now you can see it opened up a quite a bit more here. Better villages unlock a new tier of building. Six villagers lack space for housing. Okay, so now promote your first newcomer. So that's the first quest. I guess is building a lord manor. But I think first thing that we want to do is build a residential area. So now you guys figured out that red is a desire really because that's it's making a lot of noise. So you don't want to put your residents there or your people in general so we're gonna put them somewhere here so that the desirability is higher because the market is there but we don't want to put them there right now we're gonna put them somewhere here so somewhere close and now they're gonna pop up and make a village zero decided to join your village so people are just gonna pass by and see if they want to join us and now people are just gonna uh, build their own houses and now what we want to do is we're probably gonna assign all the new people in the builders workshop for now and start building the houses so that people can have a happier life with us but what we don't want to focus on is building a lord's manor we want to make it somewhere centralized somewhere maybe here because that when you build the lord's manor it's it's actually going to increase the desirability of where people want to live so probably super close to the residential i guess you can build it here i guess they want the core Is it, is it core about? Yeah, I guess. Damn. That's centered. As center as I can center them, I guess. Then I'm gonna put a door. A couple things that you wanna put is a uh, extension. And you can put it. Right. Like this, I suppose. There we go. And you can put in either side. Other side will probably... And you need this extension because... Oh, that, that doesn't look great, actually. Because you can assign, like, a specific... Uh, parts for that. And should we just make the whole shebang now? I guess so. There we go. So that's our Lord's Manor. So it's going to require 44 planks and 29 stone. Which we have a bunch. Actually, we're going to reassign one of the builders there. To woodcutters. Because it looks like we're running short with wood. We put two people now there. And the general reason is we are running out of wood. <laughs> So what I might do is, uh, we'll probably do it later, is uh, make a uh, forester camp to replant everything. Because I do want to make that like a residential area anyway. And then maybe once we unlock this area, we'll probably start cutting from there. Once this is uh, out, and then we're probably going to keep this area, and then we're going to put a forester cap there. So they can replant what we cut.
All right. So what our what is our quest? Promote your first newcomers. Build a Lord's Manor. Assign a Great Hall function to a Lord's Manor at the start of the month. Promote a villager to a Surf. So a Surf is just me. Uh, it just means a what do you call it? Uh, a higher uh, maybe a noble is a better term actually. And now it looks like we have some new people joining us again. Two new villagers. So now we have uh, twelve people, and this list is just getting bigger and bigger and we have two people that aren't working uh we'll probably assign one to but we can't assign uh, we can't extract it quite yet because it's not part of our area i am gonna however erase that So gravity, I'm gonna assign one more person here. But so that everyone's working and they get something. And the house is actually upgrades uh if the desirability of the area increases. So that means it's gonna enable them to fit more people basically. So we're gonna assign the core as our great hall. Your hall envoys will be hosted here. Multiple building part thunder by two allows you to promote villager to higher stat status. That's what we want. And then the wood extension, we're gonna put one as a treasury. That's gonna increase our capacity for money to 650. A while ago it was just only 500. That's great. And I'm not sure what to do with the other ones quite yet. And then unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. So here, since we have two new encounters, this is basically the research part of foundation. But instead of researching it, you uh, you get it by uh, you unlock it by getting people into it. So two ten newcomers, we have unlocked it, so we can choose to either unlock a bailiff office or a warehouse. And the quest says to unlock the warehouse, so we're gonna do that. And labor uh, is the the currency for unlocking this. So we have three available labor for now. And that should unlock us the bailiff. But we're going to keep it for now and see if we can get it for anything else later on. There you go. So that is great. So the tower can be in, uh, made into a treasury as well if we wanted to, but we don't need that right now. What we want is a warehouse. So a warehouse is quite noisy because that's where we keep all our processed goods. So we don't want to put it somewhere close there. So I'm going to put it maybe here because that plank is there. Oh, what's it? We probably... We're probably going to move the gathering hut here, actually. So why don't we do that now? So why don't we put the gathering hut? There, and then once it's moved, we're going to build the warehouse there. So at the beginning of the month, we can uh, promote people. Uh, the game doesn't really tell you when to do it, so you have to do it manually. And everyone's happiness is quite okay, it's not the best. So we just have to remember... So we just have to remember who is working here, so it's a... Uh, Aizicha. Do the name, I guess. So we're gonna deconstruct this. Yes, fine. There we go. It automatically assigned it without no clicking it. So that's great, and now we can build a warehouse. There we go, and. Two new villagers has arrived again. We're just pumping people here. It's great. Uh, 
probably need to extend the residential area. See, so yeah, people really love. The Lord's owner. So we're just gonna keep it like that. Milo's going ham. You probably, you probably hear him, but that's all right. Oh, so we do need to assign people here. So we're gonna put someone there shortly. We have two people that is not working. We we'll probably assign them. Yeah, one here and then. The one thing I want to know is how to expand the territory. There we go. So we do need 500 gold to expand. We'll probably buy this gold. Once we have a steady supply of 500 because we are using quite a bit. So they want us to unlock a trade route to get more tools. And tools is very important. Okay, so we're getting more people. Again. Which isn't too bad. I'm not complaining. Probably have enough resources to be able to accommodate them anyway. Uh, what kind of concerns me is the wood production. The wood production is not so hot. I guess it's, is it because it's too far away? Not sh quite sure. But we do have we do have a lot of people working on it. Uh, should we just stop making planks for now? No, I think we should just keep it. There we go. So we got a warehouse now. So we're gonna send the new person that has arrived there. Oh no! Wait. What did we do? Oh, it's not a warehouse. Damn it! It's another sawmill. What? Oh, that was definitely my bad. There you go. Okay, now that's easier. We have a lot of stone and fine. So. We waited for nothing there. So there you go. So there's our houses. So this one can fit six, and then two, and then two. So that just means we only have a house for 10 people and we have 15 in total. We can't really tell them to make them and we just have to paint the stuff for them. And eventually they'll make it by themselves. So there's not much we can do about it. Can we... Start me adding some of these stuff. No, not yet. We can. And another person comes in. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is actually extend our territory to there. So now we can start extracting here. What we did buy? What did we buy? Obviously, we didn't buy it, but we did lose the money. Was that a bug? Probably not. So we're gonna sign a villager. And then now we have to assign a slot for this. So we're gonna do planks here, and then we're gonna put tools here. And then everything else is okay. We can keep our stone there, but I'd rather not. That should be okay for now. And now trading. So now we can unlock trading. I forgot how to do that. So yes, here we go. So to, to trade, you have to go to the upper right here. And then unlock a trade route to get tools. And we can unlock this guy. Northbury 
for 20 planks and we can unlock the trade. There we go. Now we can get resources from them. So for selling, we can get tools for 20 gold coins. And we don't really need a whole lot of tools, but we want... Probably we get like 10 of each. 10 of it and then we can sell what can we sell we got a bunch of food we'll sell berries to them so there we go so we have to buy click the buy or sell and then we're gonna sell sell all above the value so we have this we're gonna keep well Maybe 30. Then everything all uh, 35. Sell all above the value. So we're gonna keep 35 of the berries. And we're gonna that's gonna be our money maker for now since we don't have anything else to sell to this person besides we can get planks, but planks is quite needed for now. Okay, so what we want to check is the great hall and see if we can actually promote some people to serfs. I actually forgot. So we're just gonna check here. So this guy's a surf already. Surf, this one. Okay, starting at Sigwiz. He's a uh, newcomer. Status promotion rules. Fill all current needs. And what is her needs? Is that water and food. Got both of them. But I guess it's not fulfilled quite yet. So I'm quite concerned, obviously we ran out of uh, trees, so what we're going to do actually is uh, build a forester camp for now, I guess. And assign a couple of our woodcutters there. So I think you can overlap this actually. So what we're gonna do is reforestation. And then we're gonna do extraction as well. Since it bugged out on me on I I thought I bought it, but obviously I didn't. So which wood color do we wanna reassign Beatrice uh, I'm gonna do open pine I don't know if there's a difference I can't really tell uh what was it it there's a thing but failed to find a path here okay so they were coming from the south weren't they The only way to get here is probably I can make another Might as well, eh? They are coming from there. I don't need that many people right now. But it's not too bad. Might as well. So go wooden bridge. Quite pricey. Do I want to do it? Do I have enough plant? Nah, we'll just skip for now. We don't really need them. Look at that. They're already planting trees there. So it might take a while because we did delay having a forester. That's actually my bad. Well, it's actually the game's fault. I'm blaming it now for the game because. Oh, wait, wait, whoa. That's why it deleted the planks here. But why would it delete the planks? Oh, the wooden bridge. Okay, well, I'll, well no, I make the wooden bridge here again because that's closer. No, that's just 50 planks. That's more than doable. 
We got a bunch of uh, builders anyway. That should be easy. And it's just one forest there. Look at that. How fast the, gro the trees grow. That's quite funny. Uh, my only concern is that I don't have a bunch of houses again. Should we just... Yeah, I should, I should just probably... I don't know what the general rule is, because, but people are not building their houses. That, that should be done pretty quick. So we should get tools, but I may have made a mistake. Yeah, 10. We need probably 15. So, but so, yeah. 15 should be a good value. We just need really 35. So I guess I won't buy this territory then, but that's the closest one that we can get to more resources, to be honest. So before we buy it, we're gonna click whatever it told us again. Oh, there we go. Because it was already bought. I don't know. Okay, so that's good. So we don't need to reforest this again. So what we're gonna do actually is... Uh, delete this guy. Then we're gonna have Forrester Camp here again. So we're gonna extract all these trees. Then I'm gonna uh, reforest like a good chunk of it too. Here. Maybe put it there as well. There we go. Uh, we'll just remove the reforestation here. And I'll think about... We're probably gonna ex extract it still. And then until it's done. There you go. So we people can come again. Okay, so the Beatrice is still there. Oh, and fine. Okay, so it didn't really bug out. I don't know what happened there when I bought the territory, but it was free, so technically it did destroy the bridge when I clicked it. Okay, they were doing pretty well for now. Walls have not been unlocked. So what does the bailiff function assignable to parts? So seven newcomers and eight authorized housing upgrade. Okay. So we're at the six month. Uh, but I'm not quite sure how to actually promote people there should be a button somewhere it says it's the start of the month but I'm pretty sure we've already started a few months already There you go. Help. Let's click the help button here. Uh, production chains, lock a building, start. Okay, improve happiness. The robot village will need to have a great function. So, in theory, Lord's Manor, once built, the function assigned you will be able to upgrade villager status at the start of the month. So it's in the 
actions here. So actions with promotion available. Okay. Only be able to, if you have first met all their needs. Some jobs can be assigned to villagers if you have the appropriate status. Okay. Oh, there we go. Promotion available. So it does need money, but promote all to serves. There we go. So we have moving forward to our quest. So that's <laughs> kind of gave me a little heart attack there. And now we've unlocked a couple of things there. Southern Village has unlocked a new tiers of unlockables, which is great. So it looks like we, bun we uh, got a bunch of uh, things here from farms. So we got windmill, bakery, coal hut, iron smelter, blacksmith, sheep farm, weaver's hut. All good stuff. That is looking good. So what is our next quest? So we're just going to wait here what they want us to do. There we go. Oh, they're building houses there. Another house there. It's Is it because they can't build a house until there's a surf? Probably. That would make sense. So there is one... Okay. There is one person that is not doing anything. That doesn't matter right now. Okay, so what do we want to build? Probably a wheat farm, eh? So what what I want to do, actually. So we have to plan this out. Where do we want our farms? Not exactly close by or do. We? Let's see the desirability again. Do we want to put the farms here or somewhere here? So I do want to extract all of these. What's the play here? Okay, it's not, that's going to take a while, to be honest. Find another villager. Probably somewhere here, eh? I don't want to like clump it all together for sure. So I'm going to put it here. Somewhere close by the water. That makes sense for the early days, eh? So. Like so. so my only question is how will they how will they actually make the farm? So that's why I want I don't want to put it super close there. Oh, we have 16 people now. Oh, look at that. That house upgraded as well. That can fit 6 now. So that's 12, 14, 16, and 18. Hulk is approaching our village. His person is probably gonna give us some religion. So produces wheat. Full hot produces full exchange for wood. Okay, iron smelter, iron and coal. Change of iron and coal. We don't have a place to get iron yet. I think, unless we trade it. Honey, this guy can sell coal and iron, but we need to make common clothes. There's the monk, and we have one villager, Demi Blanc. My lord, the king demands some materials. The clergy wants to renovate some of its churches, but our own workers are in need as well. We need to choose who we want to help. I shall assist the king. We'll give you quest, deliver 50 wood to 60 days. I'll assist the clergy. I shall assist the people. Uh, what do we want? Military, religion, or people? I shall assist the people indeed. How do we deliver that is a good question. 
Oh, it'll probably tell us, eh? Probably won't just leave us hanging. So we can definitely assi reassign some of our builders elsewhere. Uh, we'll probably assign some of them here. And two more people will join us. Awesome! We actually have more space too, so that's quite nice. The only thing that kind of bugs me is that there's no road to the uh, thing here because no one's actually using it. Okay, so we got kingdom, clergy. Oh, so that's how you get the uh, labor is by doing those quests. And I'm not making a military force yet, which I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to. Okay, so that's what it wants. We'll paint a crop field. So there's another button for that. We can do that. Uh, put three people there, might as well. And that's going to produce wheat. Should we sell it in the market? <coughs> and I think each market can only hold one kind of food, eh? So I think the game tells us to make a couple more. Anyway. Okay, that was interesting. So we were able to build a farm now, and hopefully we'll see people start farming. Okay, so hope you guys like this episode, and if you do, don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Until next time, bye!